and uh, and I got a good story to start us off with. So uh, you know, the U.S. of A, the United States of America, America, decent country could be better. Exhibit A, Missouri Elementary School found to have unacceptable levels of radioactive contamination will be closed indefinitely. Yeah. Just radioactive contamination in Missouri at a school. (laughs) What? Let's find out more. An elementary school outside St. Louis found to have unacceptable levels of radioactive contamination will be closed for the rest of the semester with students shifting to virtual learning starting Monday, the school board announced. So COVID, that's fine. We'll go in person. 83% of kids have had COVID. That's fine. It's all good. But contamination of radiation. (gasps) Remote learning. We gotta go back in. Just saying, it's interesting. Thank you, Environmental Coffee House, for the two buck. Appreciate it. Um, Jana Elementary School in Florissant, Missouri, as well as its kindergarten playground, had high levels of radioactive contamination stemming from waste dating back to the creation of the first atomic bomb in the 1940s, according to. Motherfucker. I... (laughs) Okay, I'm sorry. Does that mean that there's been nuclear waste there for like fucking 70 years? 80 years? Is that what that means? Or is it like the waste took that long to get to this point? And then it started causing problems. Oh. In a meeting attended by about 100 people on Tuesday, the Hazelwood School District Board of Education announced the school, which serves just over 400 students, will be closed to in-person learning. The administration will move on. Rachel said two Janet Elementary preschool classes will continue to be taught in person at a different school building. All other students will have to be assigned to other schools. So, I want to know more about... Okay, Jana Elementary School sits near Coldwater Creek, which was contaminated with uranium processing residues used as part of the Manhattan Project to develop the atomic bomb in the 1940s and 50s, according to the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. The levels of radioactive lead, known as lead-210, found in the kindergarten playground were more than 22 times the expected background. While lead 210 levels on the school's basketball courts were more than 12 times the expected background, the report said lead exposure can affect nearly every system in the body and can damage the brain and nervous system. And greater exposure to radioactive uh, materials can lead to cancer later in life. Imagine finding this out, but like, imagine you went to this school in like 1976. Like, imagine you went to this fucking stupid-ass school in, like, 1984, and then you read this story, and you're like, holy fuck, no wonder I got cancer six years ago. Holy shit. So, there you go. That's cool. Um... You know, should should I talk about the nuclear explosions? Should I talk about nuclear waste and radioactive? Do I need to? I think everyone knows that humans are pretty fucking stupid. I don't know. God damn. God damn. We got some dumbass motherfucking assholes. On this planet. Oh, what if we built a nuclear bomb? Oh. Oh, what if we built a nuclear bomb? Wouldn't that be so cool? Wouldn't that be the coolest thing in the world? Let's go build it next to a school. Whoa. 
Yeah, there's sites all across the country where they would test nuclear shit. Like, especially in, like, New Mexico. You know? Utah. Those fucking places. They would test a lot of that shit. People have been experiencing issues for decades. And the government... uh, Typically, the government, you know, in the couple decades after the nuclear tests were done, would just cover up the... The bullshit. So, you know, just a really cool country, really cool society that we've built. Um, and uh, what could possibly go wrong? So, there you go.